Then everything feels just a little off. Let's win and go home. are the games you have to win to take it seriously. And there is a very engaging atmosphere of fans getting ramped up outside the arena. Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. Hi, folks. Brian Anderson here, alongside two fantastic analysts, Grant Hill and Brent Berry at the table, and our reporter, Allie LaForce. A moment here to see the numbers for him. Over the last 10 games, he's been on an absolute tear, finding all kinds of ways to be a thorn in the opposition side, just working on offense and getting the looks he wants out there. And the starting group for Chicago, Levine and Williams are the two forwards. Then there's Ayo Desumu, then there's Nikola Vucevic, and it's Insanity in at the point. And for the Raptors, Baird is the three, Barnes will play the four. Brady Dick out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Hurdle in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. This is that grind it out part of the year, Grant. Everyone just fighting through it. No question, B.A. And it's not just physically exhausting. You're trying to focus on every game, every possession. This is where your leaders can help keep everyone focused. Bulls start out with the ball. And we talked about it for a few games now. But MP has been on a mission as of late to ensure he's taken home that Rookie of the Year trophy. Well, they say to set realistic goals. And I'd say that goal is very realistic with the way he's played to this point. He is having a phenomenal rookie season. Here's Dick. Chicago making their last shot. to shoot. 4-3. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And it's now 11 consecutive wins for them. They are clicking right now. Well, it's been impressive. And the question now really is, who's going to figure out a way to stop this group? Each time out, they're finding new ways to win. That is dangerous for your opponent. Really, a myriad of ways in which they're coming at you. Now here's Barrett. I know his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. We played just over a minute here in the first. Vucevic against Pirtle. Over to the left wing. Here's Insanity. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Quickly, passes to Barnes. Kick 
by Pirtle. Fires the three. And the Raptors miss again. Three misses in a row. Still looking for their first bucket. Here's Insanity. He's guarded by Barnes. Here's Insanity. Back to Tsumu. Picked by Vucevic. There's the three. Tsumu can't hit. The Raptors have gone 0 for 3 for the floor to begin this one. Well, Grant, the Raptors are in the middle of a rebuild and are looking to establish their identity here. Yeah, they've got some solid young pieces, specifically Scotty Barnes. They just need more experience and some time in order to learn what it takes to win at this level. So it's Chicago now. Toronto making their last shot, and the basket is good. The Raptors have called one of four to begin this one. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. I caught up with Coach Darko Ryakovic and one of their main defensive focuses, Nikola Vucevic. Coach telling me that Vuce has the big body, plus he can really shoot it, but they really emphasized boxing him out. Nikola is great at converting misses into second chance points. Boxing out, it's back to the basics, guys. All right, Ali, thanks once again. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. Chicago shooting their first free throws of the evening. The first free throw is good. from the stripe. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Raptors trail by six. Outside Barnes. On the wing, Grady Dick. The three, Barrett. Trains the triple. Barrett's got five now. A really good focus from RJ there. I think that improves his percentages. Here's Insanity. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Emmanuel quickly. Chicago shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Drops the first. Brown, he's checked in for Toronto. And he makes both free throws. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Here's Barrett. With another bucket. Well, that's a good confidence builder right there as RJ finds some room from the mid range to knock it down. And a homecoming of sorts for RJ Barrett last season after being traded to his hometown Raptors. Yeah, he's played well in Toronto. You wonder if the offseason helps him settle into where it is that he knows he's going to start this year. I really like his three point shooting. That has been much improved in that Raptor uniform. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone. But they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Left side, Brown. Chicago grabs the miss. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. They were allowed to ramp up their offense as the defense they faced was barely present. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. Now here's Vucevic. Still without a bucket. Clock is at three. Here's Levine for three. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. 
That it's going to go on R.J. Barrett. Chicago shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Walter, he's checked in for Dick. Smith, he's checked in for Chicago. Ball comes in for DeSumo. Levine is so energetic out there on the floor. You gotta love a guy who consistently plays at a very high effort level like that. Barnes, no good. And he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Now here's Ball. Oh, it's blocked by Barnes. There's the length Have to get over Scotty Barnes. Craig is checked in for Chicago. Gordon Tucker comes in for Levine. Here's Insanity. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Insanity's got 12. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Outside Barrett. Here's Barnes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. The defense knows that's where Scotty Barnes does most of his work. But they still can't stop him. Ball passes to Craig. Craig with a screen. To the inside. Here's Insanity. Toronto grabs the miss. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Here's Horton Tucker. The Raptors making their last shot. The three from Ball. Barnes with the rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hi, guys. Well, Insanity in their last time out against the Celtics just played phenomenal. He contributed 31 points, and it wasn't just a great offensive performance for him. He excelled defensively, too, continuing what has been a solid stretch of games for him. Will we see more of the same here tonight? We'll see. Back to you. It really was some night for him. He couldn't have been much better, Grant. Yeah, B.A., there was nothing they could do to contain him. Once he got rolling, it was game on. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. And that one is hammered home! Wow! I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovic. And we might see some changes. Coach potentially looking to adjust. Jay's checked in for Pirtle. 
Abaji comes in for Scotty Barnes. And it's Dick in for Barrett. Carter, he's checked in for Chicago. are inside. Then there's Zach Levine. Then there's Desumu. And it's Insanity in at the one. Looking at lineups around the league, Grant. It seems like they're becoming more positionless than ever before. Yeah, you're spot on, B.A. To the point where some people feel all-star voting shouldn't be by position anymore. It should be by merit. Here's Insanity. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Here comes Toronto on the push. And it's blocked by Vucevic. It's awesome seeing Vucevic go after blocks. When he makes his presence felt, it makes a difference. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Up top, Levine. Pass to Williams. Desumu outside. Shot clock at six. No good on the triple. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. And here's Brown. Here's Abaji. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Here's Insanity. Defended by Brown. Here's Insanity. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. He's officially taken over this first half, making all the right reads. Here's Brown, and he's in the books. Now one for two. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. To the paint. Here's Insanity. Oh, rejected by Boucher. Brown passes to Dick. Now, for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Here's Abaji. Back to Dick. And here's Brown for three. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Insanity passes to Levine. Taking them all on. Levine. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Some changes for Toronto. Hurdles checked in for Abaji, and Scotty Barnes is subbed in for Dick. Substitution for your Raptors. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. Pass to Pirtle. Just five to shoot. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Here's Walter. Back to Boucher. Another shot. Oh, Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter. And it's like Toronto making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. Here's Barnes. Chicago with a rebound. Vucevic has got five rebounds in the game. 
Here's Insanity. He had 31 in the win against Boston. I also thought he did a tremendous job in terms of timing in that game, swatting away some shots. Ended up with three blocks in that game. Vucevic gets the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Guys, Scotty Barnes said, my game starts on the defensive end, guarding anybody and taking pride in it. That leads to great offense and transition and just leads me to stay in lockdown throughout the game, right? And Ali, for all his offensive gifts, that focus on defense is what makes him special. And timeout is called by Billy Donovan. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. for the Raptors. R.J. Barrett, he's checked in for Boucher. Dick comes in for Brown and quickly subbed in for Mitchell. And so it's Levine with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Three-pointer. And Zach Levine from deep. And with how well Levine attacks the bucket, Defensively, you almost have to give him space to shoot threes. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And as we start to wrap up voting, this list of contenders for the three-point contest begins to take its final form. And I got to say, this is an impressive collection of talent. Yeah, it sure is, B.A. Every single one of these guys has a clean shot at taking home the trophy. They are all elite shooters from three-point range. Well, you look at Levine. A few players ahead of him in voting. But if he can hold on to his number five spot, he'll be in the three-point contest. He's a guy you need to have there. I'm pretty sure he'll be competing All-Star Weekend, and he's got a shot to win it all. And the hype around this year's three-point contest has been tremendous, and it's only increasing as All-Star Weekend gets closer. Yeah, looking at the list now, I think any of these guys could win it. Speaking just as a fan, I can't wait to see what happens. Now here's Levine. Smith with a screen on Barrett. This one for three. And that's good. Zach Levine for three. Levine's got eight here in this quarter. Pretty much uh, poor defensive effort there. You have to get a hand in his face when he's spotting up from distance. The three from Quickly connects from downtown. Quickly competitive and responds with a three of his own. Brent, we've seen Quickly step up as a team leader since he came into the league. Well, he's had tremendous confidence in what it is that he brings to a basketball team from the very beginning. It's taken him a little bit of time to gain that in the NBA setting, but he is now asserting himself as a floor general. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out in transition. You seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. And Brent, you look at the greater parity around the league. One factor, rebuilding teams can't hoard cap space like they once did. Yeah, B.A. so much tougher for teams to absorb these huge contracts in exchange for picks. So now you've got to use that cap space from day one jump on the guys that you think are going to propel your team and hope for the best. Now here's Dick. He had nine points in his last timeout. Kicks it out to Barrett. That's to Dick. Outside Barrett. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds now. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. And the basket by Horton Tucker. And the Bulls lead by 17. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Here's Barnes. And it's Chicago with a board. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. You gotta respect that hustle. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Chicago making a switch here. Carter's checked in.
Chicago. A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Welcome, everybody. We'll get things going with a look at who might be participating in the upcoming three-point contest. No matter who makes it, I know all these guys, they're ready. The final tally of votes, soon to come. But there's still time to get your ballot in. Now or never. Switching back to that first half of action, everything's been working for the Bulls. I'm guessing my buddy over here, loving it. They were forcing the ball into the paint with excellent results. Hey, it's not rocket science. I keep telling people that. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Raptors trail by 18. And now Ali LaForce with an update for us on Tory Craig. What'd you find out, Ali? Hey, guys, I got an update from the head athletic trainer of the Bulls. The knee did bend backwards, and he confirmed it was hyperextended. It doesn't appear to be any significant ligament damage at this time. And for a team with eyes on the championship, this injury could have serious implications. We'll see how it affects them. That's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him. And now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Barnes and Pirtle down low at the four and five. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Dick, and it's Barrett in a small forward. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Yeah, I mean, they put so much focus on Vucevic, it leaves a wide open man. Pass to Pirtle. Quickly deciding where to go with it. Unloads from 13, and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And during the first few seasons of Emmanuel Quickly's career, he was seen primarily as a scorer, Grant. Yes, but recently has blossomed into a more versatile threat. The leap we've seen in his passing has been especially impressive. He's a player to watch out for moving forward. Free throw drops for quickly. And really known as a microwave scorer, quickly's fearlessness is what allows him to really get cooking. And quickly drops them both. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Here's Insanity, guarded by Quickly. Barrett against Levine. Inside. And he jams it home with authority. Oh, man, the playmaking ability of Levine continues to evolve. That was a sweet dime right there. Just love seeing him be that creative. Outside, Dick. Quickly, outside. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. And so here is Chicago. After the basket by Toronto. 
Yes, it's good. Insanity's got 25 points. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Barrett. Seven points in the game. Nice D from Levine. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Insanity passes to Desumu. Levine feeling it out a bit. Unable to get that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Chicago leading by 17. Pass to Levine. Here's Insanity. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got his third assist of the night. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Shot is good by Barrett. Barrett's got nine points. Now, one of the keys to Barrett's game is he's got to play tough. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Outside Levine. Let's a floater go. Can't get it to drop. And so quickly we'll bring it up for Toronto. 17 point game. Next up on the schedule, the Clippers. That'll be a home game. It'll be the second game of four straight at home. And you know, Brent, Scotty Barnes does so much for this team. That includes creating for others. Yeah, I think that's probably the number one attribute. He's got the length and size to be a defender that can guard two through four BA, but Scotty's a problem because he can create opportunities and advantage on the offensive end. And he can't get the first one. You know, Grant, an underrated area of improvement for Scotty Barnes has been his defense. You're spot on, B.A. I mean, we've seen an elevated intensity from him on that end. Finding more denials, attacking the ball, really proving himself as an effective stopper. And the second free throw is good. And Scotty Barnes just is one of those guys that's a complete player and competes. Pass to Levine. Here's Insanity, guarded by Quickly. Back to Levine. It's stolen away! And now the Raptors on the break. And it's Quickly with a miss. Bulls leading by 16. The teardrop rejected by Barnes. Got a hand on it. Now here's Desumu. Guarded by Dick. And the basket by Desumu. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Chicago. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. The other part about tonight, you got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes. They came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovich. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. Boucher comes in for Scotty Barnes. And it's Brown in for Quickly for Chicago.
Raptors. Abaji's checked in for Pirtle. Walter comes in for Barrett. And Mitchell subbed in for Dick. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Called in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds in the game. And so in the game for the Bulls, we've got Buzelis, also Patrick Williams out there, and it's Lofton in at the five. Here's Insanity. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Toronto has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Mitchell with the ball. Down low. Tries from six feet. And there's Brown. That one's good. On the assist from Boucher. Brown's got six here in the quarter. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Pass to Duarte. Takes a three. He drops it from range. And you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. You got to know where he is at all times. Here's Abaji. The three from Mitchell. And the three-pointer goes. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. There's a screen. Is insanity. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Insanity's got ten points here in the second half. And here's Brown. Pass to Mitchell. Kick out to Brown. Fires for three. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Mitchell's got four assists in the game. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Buzelis. Here's Insanity. Five on the clock. Lays it up and banks it in. Insanity's got 31 points. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Takes a step back. Here's Mitchell. Yep, that one's good. Mitchell's got eight points here in the quarter. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. And timeout is called by Billy Donovan, rallying his guys to make sure they all know the plan. here for Toronto. Chicago leading by 23. Desumu, the pass to Levine. Back to Desumu. And he's going for the lob! And the dunk by Levine! Oh, talk about bounce. Levine has tremendous bounce. I mean, gets off so fast to slam down those alley-oops. And so here is Toronto. Outside Dick. And there's the screen. Outside Barrett. And a vital mission for the NBA, mental health. Commissioner Silver has said it's the most important issue for the league. And I applaud Adam for those comments he's made about it. I mean, the season is so difficult. It can really take a toll on your mind. So it's great the league is trying to help players out through this. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Quickly, outside. With the drive. He can't get it to go. Nice D from Vucevic. 
stolen by Barrett. Stay Back to Barnes. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Barnes. Down to five on the shot clock. Vucevic with some nice D. The Bulls have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Here's Insanity. Rips it home off a terrific move. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Barrett can't hit. Chicago has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And Levine, here we go. And Levine, throw it down. And <laughs> that's the sauce right there. I mean, every night, Levine approaches the rim like it's a dunk contest. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. The Raptors have gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. The three from Quickly. And rebounded by Zach Levine. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Quickly, passes to Barnes. Dick with it. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. How about Pirtle, the Austrian hammer? And for Chicago, they're shooting at around 60% on this one. Very efficient. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Bulls. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And they're getting ready to notch their 33rd win of the year. And with the win, the season series is... This one easily. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge and they earned this dub. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So, alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Keep it up, MP. Keep chopping wood. Yeah, MP. Solid effort tonight on both ends. Okay, most of the season has come and gone. We've seen all we've needed to see. Can we just give MP his Rookie of the Year already while he's still young?